Hey guys, welcome back to another truck review in ATS, and today I'm in a 78 Scott H2 HD. I only know it's a 78 because that's what the engine told me. This is a pretty low class truck when it comes to specifications. The only options it's got really is the HD chrome inserts on the front, the side, the grill, the dual headlights, the bumper, the Cummins uh, mud flaps on the front wheels, and of course the little uh, GPS system on the dash. As well as the transmission, this is a short ratio 7 speed, but obviously it's been adapted to my 6 speed shifter. But what makes this truck unique in comparison to another Scott we'll be testing out later on, 290 horsepower and probably one of the most difficult clutches known to man. We're going to drive around Atlanta here, put the parking brake off, and I've got in an incline because that's how bad this clutch is. See, on the, the incline helps because the, the truck was rolling. Now let's hit the road because we're going to Columbia, South Carolina, and we're going to see if this truck can handle the torment we're putting it through. So this is a Cummins Formula 290. This is a 290 horsepower diesel engine, obviously, which is going to be different from the 525 horsepower one I'm going to be driving later on, and you guys will see the differences in why I believe the clutch is only so hard because it's this 290 horsepower truck. This has a less horsepower than the Mercedes-Benz Actros I drove recently. Now, now I want to show you how mean this clutch is. We're in first. I gave you a rolling a little bit, so that probably helped out a little bit. Power down. The truck really isn't that fast. I'm going 40. have been an absolute blast of driving some of the trucks though, even with the harder clutch. Just watching my friends fail driving this truck. Um, I let Michael drive this truck, my co-host on high gear, drive this truck, and he literally could not handle it because of the clutch. He actually used the starter to drive the truck. So obviously the truck isn't very fast, like I said. 290 horsepower isn't a lot when it comes to a big old truck like this. Uh, of course, the Scots had different front ends depending on which trim level you got. This is an HD, of course. By trim, I mean like the options you put on when you're designing a truck in the configuration center. But this truck is truly fun, actually. I've enjoyed driving this around. You know, with this nasty clutch. Oh, see it? There you go. Solid. it. You have to keep it right around 1,000 to 1,500 RPM. Launch good. More stall still. Come on, truck. See, you have to be really easy letting up the clutch. You have to kind of double clutch it a little bit. Get it to get rolling, and once it's rolling, it's fine. It'll make the trip very slowly, of course. So I believe it tops out first gear at around 10 miles an hour. I'm going to second so I keep the truck rolling. So, what are my initial thoughts? I've driven this truck around. I drove it to Charleston, West Virginia, recently. And granted, it's a slow boat truck, it's not very fast, but it's a ball to drive because it goes faster than some of the fastest trucks I've driven in this game, which you guys will see here in the coming new episodes of this stuff. But the Scott, you can drive full out with a 290 horsepower engine and not have to worry about flipping over at all because it's just sluggish. And that's not a problem with this truck, you kind of expect it with age. Hop on the interstate here. We'll go to second, second gear for a second gear pull. Go like a third gear pull. Here we go. Let's see what she can do. Open up the taps. Obviously going over 
stuff and you're still being overtaken. But that's not the point. I'm having fun driving this truck because you really have to rev it out to get the speed. This is a truck that loves to be revved out and it's the more horsepower configuration so it's this one. It's 290 horsepower. One thing's for sure, they'll be dropping another 78 Scott here soon, which will have a beefed up motor. They'll probably have the normal six speeds with a longer gear ratio in the transmission. I mean, this thing is probably going to be able to accelerate a lot. Uh, this thing actually is supposed to be pulling harder, which is the reason I put the short ratio at seven speed on this truck, even though it'll only six gears. Um, it helps out with acceleration a lot. This truck needs it with 290 horsepower. Yeah, this truck is absolutely fun to drive. Like, as you can see, we're getting, we've gotten up to speed now. The truck, when it gets up to speed, it is quick. Even for an old 78 truck, when they use 6 speed, or I should say 7 speed transition, with 290 horsepower. This is less horsepower than my dad's real life Ford Mustang. Keep that in mind. But it still pulls really nicely. Uh, I've, I've gotten this up to about 105, I believe, on a good day. But I'm definitely enjoying this truck. It's definitely a slouch. Cruise control is even an option. This cruise control is on. Puts off the gas. The truck is literally accelerating itself. Turn that off, of course. Now it's shaking the 50 being out some reps weight coming in. But I think that'll about do for this review, guys. Thank you guys again for tuning in to this one of the Scott A2HD. Next episode should be pretty sick as I'll be driving something really insane. Thank you guys again for watching. See you guys. Later.